Hello, my name is Dr. Marisa Weiss. I'm president and founder of BreastCancer.org. I'm an oncologist practicing at Lankana Medical Center, and I'm also a breast cancer survivor. Um, one of the biggest questions women have is, will I need chemo or not? Um, you know, you know that there's local treatment options, which includes how to treat the breast and the lymph nodes that live right next door, uh, lumpectomy radiation versus mastectomy, and then there's the lymph node evaluation. And then in the other category of systemic treatments, those are treatments to the whole body, in that category are the hormonal therapies, um, chemotherapy, as well as targeted therapies uh, that focus on specific gene abnormalities in the cancer. Uh, but the chemo question ends up being, you know, the million dollar question, do I need this or not, and if I do, what kind? Um, for me, I used um, the information about my cancer to help make that decision. Uh, I really worked with my doctor to understand the extent and nature of the cancer problem that I was up against. Uh, we did get the Oncotype DX test um, because it was going to help us understand my risk of having a distant recurrence um, many years out, 10 years out, and of course I'm hoping for many more years than 10 years, um, but I wanted to know uh, what was my risk of distant recurrence, and that would help me understand what is the benefit of adding chemotherapy to my care on top of hormonal therapy, which I already knew that I needed. And in my situation, the Oncotype DX score came back within the low risk category, so that helped me understand that my greatest benefit was going to be with hormonal therapy alone, and I was not going to get significant additional benefit from adding chemotherapy onto my care, and that's how I made my own decision based on my unique situation.